Hey, it's Brolo here. I've been playing Souls-like games for like an eternity now and I want to briefly talk about Lies of P because this one feels different. It plays better than any other- Oh, hello? Sorry, I was saying it plays better than pretty much any other Souls-like I have played and it is worth the attention. So, what is Lies of P? Well, it's a Souls-like. Gameplay feels amazing. Combat is amazing. It looks great, so go give it a try, what are you waiting? Roll the intro, I mean, credits, fuck! <laughs> Jokes aside, my journey to Souls genre started when I stumbled on Dark Souls in 2012, and I've been playing them non-stop since then. Am I good at them? Well, yes, of course. Not a chance. No, I mean it. No way. But truth be told, there are times I beat these games as level 1 naked Squidward. It's an urban legend that never happened. And then there are times I just die to a fellow enemy over and over again. So I can say I have a lot of experience in this genre. I played so many of them. There were some good ones. Like Neo had some good boss fights, Mortal Shell had a great beginning zone. And then there were some like Lords of the Fallen. I just wanted to end it all after I played it. Lies of P never felt like any other Souls like during my playthrough. Quality was closer to a main Souls title than a Souls like, which is great in my opinion. All the locations were interesting. Rather than a video gamey level design, they managed to put together a world that fits perfectly to a story. Well, to no surprise to anyone, Lies of P is inspired by Bloodborne. What the? But you can still see the influence of other Souls titles. There are some similarities to Dark Souls level design, like it has its own mini sand fortress. No, God, please, no! And there are some doors you can only open from one side. You have shortcuts that connect the area. And then there are some implementations from Sekiro's combat, like deflecting enemy attacks. Just like in Sekiro, key mechanic in Lives of Peace combat is deflecting attacks. To pull a perfect guard, you just have to block an attack right before it smacks you in the head. Perfect guards block the incoming damage entirely and they allow you to break enemies' posture. However, if you miss a perfect guard, game doesn't punish you too hard. You just block regularly and you lose a bit of your health. But then, just like in Bloodborne, you can quickly attack and regain some of the lost health. There's one mechanic I really like, you can break the enemy's weapon after a couple of um, perfect guards. It's a great feature in my opinion. It keeps the combat fresh by changing enemies' moveset right after their weapon is broken. And I just wish it happened more often, because breaking the weapon boss is just swinging left and right, it just feels really satisfying. And then, like, right after they lose their weapon, they just attack in a different way, they're either slower or they enrage and they, they're angry now. It just overall it feels good, I wish it happened more often. But sadly it isn't perfect. There are some enemies with weird animations and blocking their attacks almost never felt satisfying for me. Animations and the impacts of their attacks sometimes didn't match. It's, it's not an issue with the majority of the enemy types, but there are some with these weird parry timings. Once you see them, you simply just cannot unsee it again. Also, patting sometimes felt off. For a good chunk of enemies, you can just run past and do a little spin around them and then you can just backstep them. Cause it's easy. And it does a lot of damage. It is also a viable strategy in pretty much all the Souls games, but in Lies of P it is just way too effective in my opinion. Most of the time you don't need to block or dodge attacks, even against bosses, because you can just outrun them and then punish them. So if enemies were a bit faster to react, or at least they were a bit faster to turn back and attack you, I wouldn't mind, I think it would have been a better flow in combat. But still, even if you exploit their movesets, boss fights still offer a sweet challenge. 
Especially the NPC boss fights are quite tough at times, sometimes even tougher than actual bosses I would say. Especially if you play as intended and go for perfect guards, they become quite challenging. Also they have all these extra poise and unlimited stamina. They're kinda cheating but they're fun to fight with so I'll give them a pass on their cheating. Another added feature from Sekiro is prosthetic arms. You can pull people towards you, you can turn your arm into a flamethrower, you can punch people really hard and there are a couple more different arms but to be honest I'm not a fan of this one. They're good to have but they never feel necessary. They are not well implemented so you can just finish almost the entire game never using your legion arm. If they had a bit more impact in gameplay, maybe help with certain boss mechanics, I think legion arms would have been so much better. In its current state, these arms just feel like pushover content that I wouldn't miss at all if they weren't in the game. I'm not talking about straight buff to damage numbers but it could really be improved. Imagine using different arms to unlock different paths in areas like you could break some locked wooden door or burn the poisonous gas in a toxic area. I don't know, it's a good gameplay mechanic. I wish it had a bit more impact in the game itself. So far, it is good and all that, but Lies of Me needs something entirely unique to itself compared to all these other Souls-like games. Well, does it have anything like that, I hear you ask? Well, that's where the weapon customization jumps in. Game offers a unique weapon customization system that we actually haven't seen in any other Souls-like game. Basically, game allows you to change the blade or the handle to create a weapon that fits your playstyle. And based on your customization, your weapons moveset and scaling changes, you can craft yourself a dexterity or a strength weapon that fits your playstyle and it will get you through most of the game. It's a great system but it comes with flaws. There are certain weapons, mainly boss weapons, that are much stronger than what you can craft yourself and at times this makes the crafting system obsolete. I hope to see some balance patches in the future to help custom weapons compete with special weapons in some ways, but in general I can say Lies of P hit the home with its unique mechanic. The experience other players have might be different from mine, so like I would love to hear what do you think about the crafting system and combat overall actually. You can also improve your moveset by talking to an important NPC in Hotel Crud. It unlocks some useful upgrades such as second dodge, extra healing and like a lot more upgrades. At the beginning it felt weird to have movesets blocked behind upgrades but then I ended up liking it because as you progress in the game you unlock more and more of these upgrades. They never make you too powerful, it is never at a point that like turns your character into something broken. It's a sweet upgrade system that is there to have and I like it. It also adds to exploration in the game because you have to find these materials to be able to improve your character. Overall I just like this gameplay mechanic. It's, a, it's good to have. It's good to have as an extra out there. I may have sounded a bit negative with my opinion at times, but I'm just pointing out tiny issues that I wish to see fixed. Overall game feels amazing and I, as I said at the beginning, this is closest as Souls like ever felt to a main Souls title. You have your bonfires, Astos Flask, Firekeeper, you have a blacksmith Andre, what else could you ask for? The animations, movement, combat, everything is really similar to a Souls game and I'm not saying this in a bad way, I hope to see more Souls like games with such quality to be honest. If you like Souls genre and you want to have a bit more while waiting for Elden Ring's DLC, definitely give Lies of P a try, it's an amazing game and you won't be disappointed. There are more upcoming souls like games in the horizon such as the new Lords of the Fallen and Black Myth Wukong. If they can match the quality of Lies of P, we will have a great year with all the souls like games. I will do more reviews when the next souls like and Elden Rings DLC drops. If you made it this far consider subscribing, I'm trying to build the channel and every bit helps a lot. 
I reply to all the comments. If you have already played the game, let me know your opinions. I would love to hear them. For now, this was my review for Lies of P and I hope to see you guys on another review in the future. Until then, see ya.